Well, it looks like that's all I can really equip then, huh? That's kind of upsetting, because I forgot to do the little one of me, let's exchange points for skill things and whatnot. <coughs> <coughs> also that cough, ugh. Anyway. Hey, howdy ho everyone. Uh, Last Leader here, we're back in action for more Dango Ripa 2 attraction. We are doing the Clash Trials. Clash Trial number three, no less, and t murders. Murders. What is t murders? That was weird. Um, yeah, we got two people here, and apparently the disease was the motive or something. Um, Ibuki was very easy why she hanged herself, but Hyoko is definitely a mystery. Um, so I got my own personal theories and suspicions about this. As far as I could tell, and as far as the hint I'll give to what who I think it is, I think it's a guy. I think it's a guy who done it. I don't think it's Fuyuhiko though. Absolutely possibly not Fuyuhiko. As far as I'm concerned, Fuyuhiko is like, he's gonna be the last surviving members because the way that um, Class Trial 2 just went down, um, I definitely don't see that being the case. But everybody else is kind of like freeing up in the air. But I do think it's gonna be a guy that, that did it. <coughs> so let's, 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 let's go into it. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. As per usual. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. I rather have it just say vote for blackened. For, vote for the blackened. I never like the who done it. It just feels so kiddish. I'm sorry. I just I had gotta point that out. It's been bothering me ever since the beginning of the series, like all the way back. <laughs> if you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already. I don't mind starting the trial, but. I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. I mean, he's not lying. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? I mean... She's not wrong. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first <coughs> witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a heart-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. 
And then I noticed Ibuki was gone, so I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Why well, I gotta say it that way? Because various ways is so many things you could just... No, no, just, just let it go. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's, and not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who- Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Huh? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video, and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? No, I just love him. Lie? Why would I lie? What would he have to gain, Nagito? What would he have to gain? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. <laughs> it's just as a Kuzu Ichi said. He does the kind of guy who'll just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. It should be the movie ticket. That, that should be your thing. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie... Then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie... ...means it probably ah! is Hajime's <laughs> fault. Oh, dang it! It's how it sounds, Clowns! That's exactly what we wanted. I'm not the killer. There should be a contradiction somewhere. I need to find that and break through. I mean, I had it. I did. Hajime's I really did. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki yeah. hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. No, that's wrong. Yes, I got it. I barely got it then. Oh, the silence here sometimes. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Freaking ass! I love him. Huh? <laughs> Before the incident. Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes! No mistakes there! Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. 
For what exactly? What warm up? This isn't a game, you know. I mean, it kind of is. I mean, I'm playing it. I mean, me personally. Okay, maybe they don't know that, but still. <laughs> don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were? So that means the four people that were there, by this logic, cannot be the killers. Alright then. If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! M me too? What the hell? Why is it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Yeah, technically he doesn't. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the invitation. I didn't expect that. Hey, why are you talking like, huh? Y you're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? P please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? I mean... I don't know why you're getting mad over a logical statement here. The killer was inside the music venue. Well, Hiko obviously thinks so, but... Is that really it? Hmm... So are you, are you gonna disprove the argument here? That it was just a locker room? Ah, dang it, dude. Frag. Because the surveillance monitor video might be might be the The killer thing. was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they looked like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. That person's remark constitutes the truth. I should be able to uh, pr uh, prove that with my evidence. Okay, what evidence, the though? Because, like, the evidence that we have is, is not still... a lot. The motel room key. So what does the hotel mo room key say, specifically? Um, the key in the motel room that Hiyoko was staying in. It was uh, buried inside her kim kimono. It was pretty difficult to retrieve. Okay, so we have that inside the music venue, and we got a scrap thick of paper. 
a scrap of thick paper. A thick paper that was stuck to the uh, bandit to the bandit lighting. That's not gonna help either. By locking the door from from the inside. Um, I mean you don't have to lock it from the inside, as far as I can tell. You just have to make the the thing fall essentially. A step ladder. A step ladder was found on the music venue stage, tipped on its side. On its left side, a slight blood stain can be seen. All right, I don't think that's gonna help. The inside. They tried to keep us from getting blob. That's what it is. It's the semi-transparent blob. That's that's the big catch right here. Um, to where both music venue doors touch each other. In. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. Okay, I think I need it. I mean, By I need doing to do that, the killer who statement. was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, I mean, I have it. I just need to find the remarkable The killer particular. was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried oh, to keep it. us from ah! getting in. Stupid silence! It seems they were trying to stall. How did they lock the door? Uh huh. That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, I just need to get to that one part right there. The killer was still inside because the music put, venue. You can use the glob. By locking the door from the inside. Ah! It's like at a weird angle, they so I don't get it. From getting mm -hmm. in. It seems they were trying this to stall. So much. How did they lock the door? Ah! I keep that missing door it. should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had... I have seen this in serial crime dramas. I mean, I know what it is. I just can't get it. I don't know why. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. Got no, it. No, that's okay. wrong. That's, that's just easier to do it that way. Hold on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. The semi-transparent glob was probably uh, glue or gummy. It could be a gummy. I see. That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm gel-like chewiness, and I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Why'd you put it in your mouth? Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I mean, technically paste is? I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? Dang. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Apologize to Miss Sonia. And me. 
However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Okay, Switzerland, get out of here. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Hiyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? A scrap was stuck on the a baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. So we got Hangman going again? Yep. Hangman's Gambit. I'm actually not too mad at this Hangman's Gambit. But from what I hear, it gets more, like, dangerously weird, uh, pretty much from now on. So, it's just ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, it's slowly but surely, like, getting there. Um, W. What the fuck, dude? Um, it's not L. L is not the first, the first one. Is it, uh, A? No. I don't think it would be. Have we tried W? W first. Okay, I had no idea what wall curtain. There you go. That's that's why we're spelling right now. Okay, so let's spell wall curtain. So we need that. Okay, cool. And we got a P. Pretty sure a P is not in wall curtain. Oh my god, it's going faster and faster. That's another L. And that's what I need. There you go. Ah, what the? That was ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Stop for a second. Oh, go, go, it's real. Okay. Weird. Uh. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. It's, it's all over the place. I'm literally just trying to make sure I don't get hit by things. So it's not ye. Okay, W, W, W. Uh... Okay, somehow. What? I can't do it that way? What? Ah, God! Come on, man! I can only do so much! Uh... Um... No. Okay. So that was not it. Nope, that, that hit it. Come on, buddy. I, I can only do so much. Okay. Dear Lord, no! Freaking, I needed that too! Uh, w, W, there. E. That's not it either. There we go. Paper, okay. That's what we're spelling. All right, screw it. We're, we're just gonna try to like get it this way because it's going way too fast. Dang it. I can't catch everything. Oh my God. Oh dear Lord. That's that's it, that's it right there. Oh my God, it goes I so unbelievably you. fast. That is ridiculous. Wallpaper, wouldn't it be wall curtain? Whatever. That scrap, isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. Okay, yeah, wallpaper then. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting with the tear in the wallpaper, see, it fits perfectly. How do you go? Can you actually see it? What? 
Did they bring it along with them? I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. The scrap of paper stuck on the baton lighting was part of the wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. Alright, let's give this a try. Are we going to do a logical dive? Yes, we are. Cool. Alright, so I kind of like these logical dives. They aren't bad. Not liking that my life is, like, blinking. Uh... Do I jump? Ah! Okay, triangle to jump. Got it. That part was, was lost on me before. Ollie outs. So I'm just gonna not make a jump, essentially. <laughs> Why is the jump so hard to make? Why did they make the jump so hard to make? Oh my god! Look at that! I was so bloody close and I fell! Come on, man! I can only get so much momentum. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die because I can't make this stupid jump. How do I go faster? I'm trying to do it on the edge and I just, I just can't. Um, options. What are the other things I could do here? Accelerate is X. Okay. There we go. Freaking. There we go. Dang it. So I'm gonna have to work on my acceleration too. Alright, fine. Fine. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Question one. Why did Yoko's body suddenly appear on the crime? It was brought there. It was hidden. I think that's why. Okay, cool. So I'm barely living, as is. I am I am barely alive to, to speak the tale here. All because I couldn't grasp the, their controls of this. Dear lord, I'm so scared. Question two, why did the killer use, use the higher body? A curtain wallpaper. The wallpaper. Wouldn't it be the wallpaper or would it be the curtain? Okay, cool. Because he used part of the wallpaper, or they used part of the wallpaper, rather. Uh. Oh dear. Oh god! Oh god. God dang it, this thing. Okay. When did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall. They covered a pillar. They, they covered the pillar. That sounds about right. Oh, we barely made it, fam! God dang it. We barely made this. Oh my it's god. It's all coming together! <laughs> Maybe we'll have to retry this whole entire class trial then. That would be a nice one, isn't it? I got it! Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, That's Kyoko's true. body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. 
So they use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music venue. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then, when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monami 2.5D? It's a shame, I know. Monami is trash. Hey, don't put <clears throat> my likeness in your movies without my permission. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. <laughs> who enjoys looking at mothballs? Who enjoys looking at them? I knew it. There are so many similarities, it must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in, the, in that movie. She'll be able to explain it now. I had to mix up the killing order to let their accomplice escape. I see! The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Then... Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! <laughs> Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light! Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this con continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best we clarify Ibuki's uh, status when Hyoko was killed. Blood on the souls, that's probably it. Well, the souls is probably it. When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. 
Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor... Was there any sign she stepped on something? Were there even any footprints at the crime scene? Maybe her feet were on the floor. That she was, like, sitting or something. So instead, there'd be a mark on her ass! Oh my god, no! Weak, 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 I say! It doesn't even pierce my heart! Shiaki said Ibuki was st still standing, and Yoko was killed, but... When Hyoko died, that is correct. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on some? There we go. I agree it. with that. Yeah. Just as Sonya said. Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! Oh, snap! This, he's going at us! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Yeah, this is weird! Why is he rebutting us? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. But... Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. This is actually pretty cool. Bottle showdown. All right, let's see what we got. Rope used for hanging. Okay. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to- Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no- You can't step on blood that- <laughs> Just about one minute. Did you see a nice nightmare? Despite his exaggerated protests, I feel like I've already seen an opening to counter. Is this a trap? You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet. Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the- Okay, there was no blood on the floor, so we gotta look for the bloody... What is it called? Smudge on the floor. The floor? You can't step on blood that was never- <laughs> Just about- Did you see a nice nightmare? Okay, advance. As long cool. as Ibuki's body has no open wounds, there's no doubt that that blood is Hyoko's. Hyoko was taped to the pillar, yes. Then it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar- <laughs> It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% of my power. If I draw out the story, there won't be any place for me to counter. Just as I thought, that word from earlier was the opening for his rebuttal. In order to bring back the top, it looks like I have to be pushed uh, back on purpose. Yoko was taped to the pillar, yes. But it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar with your feet. <laughs> you should feel proud of yourself. I'm it's actually surprised that I have to go back. That's kind of weird. Sixty percent of my power. Yoko was taped to the pillar, yes. Then it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar with- <laughs> It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% of my power. How do I bring it back? Yoko was taped to the pillar. Then it's possible that the- However, you can- <laughs> It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% okay. of my- Damn it! I was overcome. He's gonna uh, go back to the original topic. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! 
try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Allow me to cut through there those There we go, words. we got it. There it is, it was a smudge on the floor. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. D don't say such foolish things! You don't have proof of that at all! Yes, I do. If you look closely, there's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Well, he's had a lot of answers. He's trying to help everybody. In his own Nagito way. Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! That's a very nice way to phrase it. I like that phrasing. A lot. I know it sounds kind of dark, but it's also kind of really brightening. The most important thing, existence of all, is yourself. That's true. I mean, hey, I like me, don't you like me? I like me. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito, what do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. Or you know what might have happened? They told Ibuki to commit the murder and then kill herself. That's very interesting. That's like a whole entire different, like, locked version of the thing. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Wh what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Huh? According to that video you saw, 
Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? As far as I can tell, that doesn't look like Ibuki at all. Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure... That surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then... the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm... So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then, we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence! <laughs> I like this about her. Destroy the Weakest Alibi. So as far as I could tell, it would be me and then Fuyuhiko. And then Mikans would be like the strongest. And then it'll slowly go down and down and down. Um We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! The murder supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. Person who doesn't have an alibi for that time. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Okay, so let's look at Mikan, Mikan's uh, actual account. Uh, right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everybody, everyone, and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out the hospital to search for Ibuki, uh, she apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. So that, so after the search and everything. Um, right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, afterward, after the announcement then, it would be, after Fuyuhiko met Amikana in front of the hospital, they split up the search for Ibuki, they checked the movie theater and Electric Avenue, but they didn't find anyone, apparently Fuyuhiko and Mikan were only separated for a short time. Right. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. We are sleeping on our cottages, right? But that's not an alibi since there's uh, no one here to back it up, right? Hey, Hajime, uh, can't you do something about about that? I kind of need to prove uh, like a better cover Crap. fire. Okay, so I made a mistake. We can exclude the sick people. Okay, surveillance monitor video. So what is the surveillance monitor video? The surveillance uh, camera unit uh, put inside the music venue for communication purposes. It's been smashed to pieces and no longer works. So it just it just straight up no longer works. Um, I guess we could just agree with Fuyuhiko's thing with Fuyuhiko's account then? Like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Because, like, everything else doesn't, like, really right before have the morning one. announcement, 
I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Okay, so I can't agree with him. I, I just straight up cannot okay. agree with him. Um, and exclude the sick. Sonia's account. That that could be a thing. So Sonia's account would be it then, because she mentioned this. Kyoko was distraught because her kimono was disleveled, and she was unable to tie it on her own. That's when Sonia apparently told her about the full-length mirror in the music venue storage room. Um. So I guess we would just do that on the Me Too People thing. like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. So it ain't that. That's not what it is we either. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Well, the moving and invitational ticket. what about the it. others? Wouldn't that work out? To some varying degree? Um... Hmm. Okay. The invitation ticket prepared by Monokuma. One ticket was passed out per person, and the date it was passed out is printed on the ticket. So, I think it's the mo a movie's invitational ticket. That way you discover who bought what and all of this such and such. Um, if not that, I don't know what it would be. Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who okay. stayed at the motel does- What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease. If nobody has an alibi then... If nobody has an alibi then... Okay. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my motel so room. So it must be Sonya's talk. everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... There we no, go. that's wrong. Yeah, got it. Backing up my bro Fuyahiko. That's what I do. That's, that's what I do. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Oh my. Hey, what kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Too much info. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process... Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. The killer had a different reason? If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us? If so, then whose? And what kind of trap is it? Oh my god! Like this case is so much better than third one in, in the first one. Oh my god. Cause I don't know. Hiya! 
Why, hello there, mon ami. The moss balls sure look tasty today. Stop it! Uh, don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some uh, ch uh, chance time. What? What's that? Now then, mon ami, appeal time starts now. Hmm? Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is going to give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck. Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss. That's 99% your fault. While you are whining, your time uh, time's already running out. So please make your appeal simple. About 3,000 words or so to do. That's too long. It'd just be a boring appeal. Come on! If your appeal is successful, there might be merchandise opportunities heading your way. Um, uh, then... Um, Uzumi, a magical, uh, magical miracle girl, Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Jeez, I thought certain robots' little sisters was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment! Talking about the eighth one of the world, ain't you? Um... Who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Alright, and with that, we are in the midst of the trap of the killer, and I have no idea who it is proper. Um, I have an inkling, but the inkling is only that a guy did it. That's it. Shoot. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick bathroom break, commercial break, whatever you want to call it, break. And we'll be right back for more Dingo Rupa Class Trial 3. Woo-wee! Till next time, sayonara. Bye-bye.